All right, so we're about to go over to Art of Hydro. It's a hydroponics place in Westlake. Uh, hopefully they'll let us record and hopefully I'll learn something good about hydroponics. to uh, turn, you know, start harvesting, you start growing your fruit or vegetables, you start with uh, your bloom, but when you start growing your plant right out of the gate, you start with your growth. Mycorrhizal, yeah, that is a beneficial uh, bacteria for your uh, root zones. That, you know, That was pretty informative. I got some of this uh, grow bloom. You use the grow to get stuff growing and then use the bloom when you want to actually start bearing fruit. You need some of this. It's just, uh, you know, because you need bacteria and stuff that would normally be in the dirt. This is what this replaces. Got some of this to adjust the pH of the water since you don't want your water to be too basic or too acidic. All right, so we're about to go over to Home Depot. We're just gonna get some stuff. Uh, it's all for the hydroponic garden. And then after that, we're gonna go over to Petco. Hopefully we can find some good deals and uh, let's see what happens. Whoa, what the heck? How did that get up there? How did that pipe get up there? Guess what? It's the power of losing footage. Um, yeah, I lost the footage. So there's footage of me putting that up and showing you all the cool holes. But now you just have to kind of fill it in mentally. So just imagine me lifting up a pipe and putting it up on those hooks. Oh, and the hooks. Yeah, getting those hooks into the wall is also gone so uh sorry about that but yeah it's gone just imagine me drilling holes into the wall and um screwing in hooks into the holes in the wall it's kind of cool too because you have to use these things called anchors but yeah footage is gone so you don't really get to see how cool that looks um Every hydroponic place I went to told me to wash the planting media, the rocks that the plants are going to grow in, so I'm about to do that.
right, you've made it pretty far in the video. I think it's now time I tell you how it all works. So right here you have your reservoir, which just holds the hydroponic solution. And then inside of it, you have some aerators. And those just aerate the water because if you don't, you'll actually drown your roots since they require oxygen. And um, then you've got this water pump right here that pumps the water up and to the plants. I don't have them growing just yet. And then inside you have hydroponic pebbles which replace the soil. And these are just the cups that I 3D printed. The white ones are longer for taller plants and for deeper roots. Then you've got the water to go back down. And this is to recycle the water and you gotta recycle it to keep it fresh, bacteria free, and to re-aerate it. And so yeah, that's how it works. All right, so real quick, I just wanna explain what's going on here. I found online that what you're supposed to do is germinate the seeds in some seed starter before you put them straight into the uh, hydroponic pebbles. And so that's what I'm doing right here. All right, so most of the seedlings have finished growing, which means that now I can put them in the hydroponic garden and the package told me not to do it with any of that fluid just yet because there's still seedlings still growing. I should just go with water for now. So let's put them in. All right, so I put all the plants inside and uh, it might be hard to see, but I left them in their actual dirt pots because the roots are actually very weak and I don't want them to just die. But later when they get stronger and the roots are more established, I'm gonna take them out of the dirt and I'm just gonna put them straight into the pebbles. That's how you're supposed to do it, but these plants are too weak and small and frail and you get it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hydroponic Garden is going. Every week with the weekly updates, I'm going to just tell you how it was going, um, how it's growing, all that good stuff. If there's any problems I've experienced, what to do with the problems I experienced, or maybe I'd even ask for your help. It's right, so real quick, I just wanted to say one last thing. I actually put the um, air stones directly into the water because I felt like they weren't getting enough oxygen and I was worried about them drowning in the water so i just put the air stones right in there um i just drilled some holes it wasn't really cool enough for me to just show i mean that's just what's happening and um hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always life's the experiment and you are the scientist thanks for watching bye